And hello there in this satisfactory video here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to build a hypertube cannon, uh, something like this right here. And of course, if you're just going to do a cannon like this that's going to shoot you straight across on your tube system, uh, leave a space in between right here on the last little node right there. So when you're coming on your way back, you'll have a space to actually land. And when you're landing, crouch down so you don't get accidentally sucked into your tube. And that's why we have them up in the air so we don't actually get sucked in uh, accidentally on the ground ones. And it doesn't really matter for the speed at all. Anyway, so let's go and build a cannon system, something like this. It's just, you know, a rough design right there. Let's clear this on this handy little blueprint designer. Clear that, and let's get started. So yeah, it's just building the stackable hypertubes, and that's it. You just uh, start right there. There's the starting point and this thing. So you just put two together like this, and we're going to do this with a space in between it. It's also easier to build that way. You can build it and stack them really close together like this, which would look like that one over there, uh, but it doesn't work for both directions because, you know, the way this game works. I don't know why, but that's just to happen. So we're going to do a space it up like this with one space and then two and two beside each other. Uh, that part matters. Having these two close together matters. But the space in between them doesn't. You can do one space, no space, two spaces. It doesn't matter. As long as you get sucked in the next entrance, you're good. So this is two. Now let's continue on. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now that we got the 10 entrances uh, stacked in together, we're going to do our, um, there we go, our support. So switch over to the support for this last one. Put it in the middle. It's easy to see right here, but yeah, on this design right here. So stick it in the middle right here, and then move it over to uh, three spots. So this will count as one, two, and three. And then raise it up. Just raise it up as high as you can with your mouse. That's all you do. Just mouse up and down. And then use your middle mouse button or whatever you have assigned to do the angle. So it's just two little clicks to the angle to get that 45 degree angle. And you are good. So let's go put the tubes in now. Uh, switch to the tubes. And let's get the tubes in here. We're going to put a little tube in between these things right here. So, uh, you know, that's it. So just click in the middle. Just click it. Find the middle spot right there and click twice. And it's, it's that easy. It's, it's not hard to do. So just click in the middle like that. And we're going to make a small little tube. And for this last one right here, make sure you have your build mode on Noodle. Uh, and that's the R button to switch these build modes. So switch it back over to Noodle and then do this last part right here. That's what's going to kick us in the air and get some distance. I tried it on just one little t tip right here, but it didn't uh, go as far as the 45 degree angle. If you go higher, it's not going to really do very much. So let's go into deleting. We're going to delete every second one. So it doesn't matter where you start, but every second one of these two of these pairs right here. So I just uh, click on there and uh, let's tag them up, delete them because we don't need these anymore. They're just there to put the tubes in. That's all you needed them for, but you needed them to make this little tube right here so the tube will shoot you out into the next one. And then let's go on and build the entrances. So we just stick the entrances on, nice and easy, a little bit laggy. There you go. Just stick all the entrances on, and you're good. And once that's done, you just uh, power it up. So you just, you know, build whatever for your power systems. Yeah, you know how to power stuff up. You don't need a tutorial on how to power things up. Uh, so yeah, just power stuff up like this. And then when you're done, it's going to look something like this. It's going to look, well, it's going to look like this. You're going to power it up and you're going to have your 10 can as long. That's what you can fit on the blueprint. So that's what I'm doing here. For example, you can make it as long as you want. Um, I got 10 and 12 and whatever. And the two different ways, of course, you're going to go into the same way, but that speed jumping. But of course, using these things, you can use your parachute or a jetpack if you're using a cannon. You're going to need one, one or the other or you're going to die. Uh, um, if you build it too big, you're going to go flying off the map and die. Uh, at 13, I go off the map no matter what I do. Uh, unless I've got a parachute and I'm pressing backwards the whole time, then you can stop. But yeah, so you don't need them to make it that big long. You can do it with just 10 or 11 or 12, uh, depending. But, you know, since 10 flits on the blueprint on that design, and you can use it on either direction. It doesn't matter. The direction part and, and the FPS of what you have it set to matters because the uh, the FPS in this game, if it's too fast or it's variable, you're not going to get the same you know you know space in between these. You're not going to get they're not going to work properly. Um, and that will be in my other video. I'm going to do another video on these uh, hypertube cannons, and it's going to be more in depth on the mechanics of the uh, stuff that works. So, you know why 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 is it spaced in between so much? Why is there no spaces or more spaces? And what is the 
effect. Uh, that's going to be in the other longer video, but since this is just a short tutorial on how to build it, we built it, we're done. We're going to go through it and show you what it's like and uh, take off into the air. So this is going to be it. We fly off in there and that's the starting point on the map. And then we go there. With 10, I'm getting the same distance all the time basically. And I land right about here on top of this node right here. But of course you can use the jetpack and uh, you know, jetpack your way on your way down and you keep on going a lot farther if you want and slow yourself down accordingly. And if you use a, if you use a um, what do you call it, a parachute, you can fly even farther. So the parachute is farther and more control over it. And last side note, if you're not going to watch the next video with more in-depth detail, uh, this you see the ground hasn't loaded here. If you fall down through that ground, you will die unless you land in a water zone. So if you're in a water zone, you land in the water and then you'll be safe. And then you can have that time until the you know game loads up and there's the terrain right there. Uh, unless you have a you know unless you're using a good computer. But this game is a really huge map and it's going to take a lot of you know computer power to get that stuff to load up. And if you're going super fast like that your, your ground might not load up uh, your building stuff will load up so you can land on top of that so but uh, yeah if you're not doing it uh, you might fall down and die so just just be warned but that's it for the video and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time